Yogi, it's time for your magic. Right. Sanctify. Do you think that means everybody in Hamlin is cured now? Yep, which means it's time for the prince to turn to his people. Your Majesty, the city is in ruins. Have we been invaded by wild beasts? I'd watch what you call them, they were you. Uh, us? We were the beasts? I'm afraid so. This is terrible. Your Majesty, did we attack you? Calm yourselves. As you can see, I am unharmed. I am more concerned about the state of our great city. But our chief concern should still be to discover the cause of all this. Until I have done so, I must leave Hamlin in your hands. Captain Hogarth, your orders are to begin reconstruction immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. You go to war, do you not? You must take our latest technologies with you. Ah, we have a new alchemy formula. Thank you, Hogarth. Your foresight is as welcome as ever, Captain. I leave the Empire in your capable hands. Blimey, you actually sounded like an Emperor for a minute there. Yes, it was like I was seeing a completely different person. I made a promise to my brother. Ahem. In any case, Hogarth is a fine leader. He can be relied upon to rebuild Hamlin while I am gone. There's trusting you are. Right all, let's get back to the Iron Wyvern, shall we? What shall, Drippy? Anyway, welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. We have saved the Three Kingdoms from the Scourge of the Manor. As representative of the peoples of this world, I give you our heartfelt thanks. You're welcome, but it was all thanks to P, really. Yay! Thanks to P! And yet, we are no closer to knowing who it was that sent the manor to assail us. Your magic allowed us to avert a tragedy of unthinkable proportions, P. But we cannot allow this to happen again. Too right, man. We need to find whoever was behind all this, and give them a proper hiding. But we have no idea who it could be. Perhaps not, although something about P's story has been troubling me. It has? When we were in your world, she told you that the ash fell the ash falling was her fault, did she not? Well sure, but hey, there's no way it was her. That's impossible. Does it not also seem impossible that a tiny child should have the ability to reverse the effects of the manor? It does seem strange, and yet we have seen it with our own eyes. But that is not the only reason I think she may be able to tell us more. I believe P may hold the key to unlocking this entire mystery. Yes, P's got the key. 
Oh, you found another flower, did you? Great, let's have another look at that pretty young queen. Is this really the time for your stupid comments? We need to take this seriously. Indeed. I fear this next vision may not be a pleasant one. No matter. We must see the truth with our own eyes. P, would you be so kind? Here. How? How could this happen? Every man, woman, and child in my kingdom. How? Why did this happen? Mana was meant to help them. Not... not... this. Tell me why! My name is Cassiopeia. I am Queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father, and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. Ignorant of the affairs of state, I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now... I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury. A life they could never hope to enjoy. I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. Mana. When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the mana would purify the hearts of my people. But then, my dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the mana touched became beasts and turned upon each other. For years, the nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting, too. They were all gone. The manor I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me? That is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting, always waiting, alone in Nazcar. Ricky, that was tragic. The spell she used once and ruined her all the her whole country. The manner of which she spoke. It's the same thing we've been dealing with here. So the person behind this is Queen Cassiopeia. She may not have intended any harm but it seems a distinct possibility. 
you're right. She said she would be waiting, didn't she? In a place called Nazcar. Smelly old Nazcar. Nazcar, eh? Crikey, that's a blast from the past. What? What is it? Do you know something about this place? The fabled kingdom of Nazca was the seat of an advanced civilization that disappeared almost overnight. Ten thousand years ago. Whoa. T ten thousand years? And Queen Cassiopeia has been waiting for all that time? If we can find the site of the ancient kingdom, perhaps we can solve the mystery of the manna at last. Yeah, and we can stop her from ever using it again. Yes, we have to stop her. All right. Let's go find the Kingdom of Nazca. And we obtained the last flower, the Flower of Hope. So now we have to find the lost Kingdom of Nazca and try to find Queen Cassiopeia. Too bad the Queen didn't have Obi-Wan to warn her not to trust politicians. and in for a little bit. And I'll show off the recipe we got. The Highwayman's Handgun. We need a blowpipe and some drill screws. First ingredient dropped off the Porco Loco. Oliver, come on, let's ride the dragon. All right, if we must. So, in the next episode, we'll check in with Old Father Oak and see what new errands and bounties are available to us. This is Hare Altlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.